Hi guys, Dr. Conor Brady here from dogsfirst.ie and today we're going to be talking about weepy eyes in dogs and what you can do about it. So what are weepy eyes in dogs? Weepy eyes are the, are the tears that are coming out of your dog's eyes all the time. Often you see on small white coated breeds there'll be like a, a red or a brown track down the side of their the front of their face. And th that red colour comes from the porphyrins that are in the tears, which are entirely natural compound, iron based compound, and being iron rust, uh, it, it gives the, the tears an orangey brown colour over time. The black crust that you pick off um, the tear duct, the tear tracks sometimes is actually a fungus that enjoys the, the, the wet moist conditions and uh, you can keep picking it off but it'll keep coming back so obviously the issue isn't just cleaning away the tear stains or picking off the fungus, the issue is turning off the tap in the first place. There's lots of reasons that your dog might have teary eyes, I mean he might have something in his eye so you know it's logical to take a look inside the eye if you want to have your vet or groomer take a look at it. Uh, second reason will be a structural issue. So, you know, some breeds have mushed up faces and that can distort their tear ducts and all sorts of things. So, yes, yeah, structural issues can be a bit of a problem too. But by far, the most common cause of weepy eyes in dogs is internal inflammation. We know this because we can do something about it. Uh, small steps alleviate tears, tearing in dogs. So, uh, we also know that inflammation builds up over time. So, this issue is far more prone in older dogs than younger dogs. So, it'll kick in at mid-age or older age. You can take two brothers and you can, they're both of weepy eyes and you can put one on a raw diet. And it fixes it. So we know this isn't inevitable. There is something you can do about it. Don't think that this is just a normal part, normal thing for this breed to be suffering. It's a smoke alarm going off. That's how we look at tear, um, tearing eyes. I'd say, okay, what is wrong under the hood that the tears are leaking so bad? You need to address what's going on under the hood. So the top causes of weepy eyes in dogs are the top things that cause inflammation, that drive inflammation in pets today. So as always, the number one thing is ultra processed food and all the weird ingredients there in. So all the cereal and wheat and soy, all the ultra processed meat meals, all the food chemicals, you know, that aren't even listed on the label. You need to get rid of all that stuff before you find out what's inflaming your dog and the same goes for pet store treats. So remove anything into the foods and packets and put them onto any raw dog food diet. Here's everything you need to know about raw dog food in 10 minutes. Gloriously, when you remove all the packet foods, you're going to remove it, uh, some problem ingredients like iron oxide. They use iron as an iron supplement and iron oxide as an iron supplement in pet food. But that's really hard to absorb, certainly by the dog, they're very poor at it. And if you've got iron-based compounds, porphyrins, causing the red staining, excess iron is not going to help that matter. Same with beta-carotene. Beta-carotene is a natural antioxidant, it's why carrots are orange. Um, and they use it in, pe in pet food, but they use it particularly because it gives the food a nice browny orange color. Okay, and that's the food color we want to see, not the gray gloop that it would be without it. So too much beta, beta carotene can result in staining too. So removing um, dry pet food, um, pet and packet treats and stuff, just sorts out all those issues. You gotta feed a raw dog food diet is, is, is the, the first thing you're gonna do. But the other things that are gonna cause issues are going to be um, chemicals in your dogs. So excess chemicals, if your dog doesn't have flea, stop using flea, chemical flea control. If your dog doesn't have worms, stop using chemical worm control. There's articles on flea, natural flea, and natural worm. Uh, click on them and see what you can do uh, just to check for those parasites before you start thinking how you're going to treat them and I would treat them naturally. And also guys, question the use of annual boosters in already vaccinated dogs. Guys, that's a complete dupe. Forget about it. Uh, the, all those things are increasing the pressure inside the body, the inflammation, drawing on resources and inflaming your dog. Generally, if you remove those things, you can see a vast improvement. Another big one is tap water. Really bad quality tap water or high chlorinated, high fluoride water will produce uh, more tears in dogs. Just move your dog onto bottled water for a couple of weeks and see the difference, or filtered water, or even distilled water at a minimum. So um, even that alone can, can really help. Finally, consider um, the fact that your, the health status of your dog. So if tears are the signs of inflammation, what internally can, can drive inflammation? Well, yeah, kidney disease can do it, heart disease, absolutely. But Bad teeth, really bad quality mouth, tartar on teeth and gingivitis actually dries inflammation and results in kidney disease because the kidneys have to process all those all that you know, debris and can lead to heart disease. So cleaning your dog, have your dog's teeth really, really clean is a great way of reducing inflammation in the body. You know, it reduces the inflammation at the gums. You know, your body's constantly trying to fight off that gum infection. So if you alleviate that role, it really reduces inflammation in the body. So get the teeth nice and clean and get your dog lean. Obesity drives inflammation to a very large degree. So you need to make sure your dog is nice and lean. 
So we've already touched upon the solutions, removing the dry food and all the ultra processed food junk, pet store treats, feeding the raw diet, cleaning the dog's teeth with some raw meaty bones, here's how to do that. Um, and generally, you know, moving away from using too much chemical control in your dogs, um, reducing the use of, of tap water and moving on to bottled water, all those things are really going to help. Now on top of that, you might consider a few natural additions. As always, golden turmeric paste, fantastic. Make a bit of that, great natural anti-inflammatory. Maybe consider a bit of omega-3, another great natural anti-inflammatory in dogs, EPA, DHA. You need the animal sourced omega-3, so at worst cod liver oil, at best phytoplankton or maybe even krill. Um, so you need to use a bit of that in your dog's diet. All those things will work too. By cutting out the problems, you reduce inflammation. Adding on the natural additions, reducing inflammation. Uh, all those things are really going to work to, to alleviate the weepy eye issue in your dog for sure. Another solution for weepy eyes in dogs is Oculus Prime. Popular product, stocked in a lot of pet shops and, and vets. You've probably heard about it by now. Um, so it's a fantastic product. It's a natural anti-inflammatory that loves membranes. Again, it's seaweed-based. This time it contains a little red seaweed moss, uh, sea moss, and it's highly anti-inflammatory. So it's an excellent product. Works about 60-70% of the time, which is a good hit ratio for a natural product. If it doesn't work for you, you get your money back, as always, with all our products. Uh, no quibble whatsoever. It doesn't work money back guarantee. You'll find that on our website at dogsfirst.ie. Okay, guys, thanks for listening. I hope that video helped you out somewhat, and I'll see you again at the next one. Mm.